Hello, got a post bag video for us today, just a normal post bag full of bits and bobs. Uh, I recently went over a thousand subscribers on YouTube, which was really good. And that apparently gives me the opportunity to have the community tab, which I didn't really know I didn't have. Um, but one thing that is in there is actually to do polls. So I thought I'll ask a question and I will see what people want to do as a post bag. Uh, and I gave the option of a giveaway post bag a LED special post bag or not to bother doing any of these post bags and post something else. And the highest vote was for a LED special post bag. So I will get that sorted because I have a bag full of LEDs and various things that light up. And LEDs seem to be the thing of the day. Probably a two part special because I've got that much stuff. Um, so I'll have to split it up into two pieces. If you're watching this when it came out, the Maker Cast will be on David Watt's channel. Sunday the 9th of June 2019. It was supposed to be last week, but there was the big YouTube outage, so it ended up not happening. So we've rescheduled it for uh, the coming Sunday, which is Sunday the 9th. If you're watching this after this, uh, I will stick a thing up there for you to uh, check it out. I'm sure it was good. Who knows? Check it out and we'll find out. Uh, but Let's get on to the post bag. As usual, I'll tell you what they are, what I'm going to use them for, and in the description below, there will be an affiliate link to the product on AliExpress where you can go off and buy them at your leisure. So, without further ado, let's clear the table. Let's get cracking. Connectors. That is not a connector. Yes, I've opened this. Check it out because it is tiny. What is this? You would think it was a tiny ESP8266, but no, it is an ESP8285. This is the M3 package of the ESP8285. Uh, the 8285 is basically the ESP8266, but with one meg of built in flash, so it's a single chip rather than the two chips. This comes with some headers, uh, and you've got a lot of reduced I.O. Um, GPIO 4, 0, 2, 16, 14, 13, and the standard programming ports, VCC and EN. So it's reduced uh, I.O., uh, but it's a very small package. As you can see, really cool, I want to play with that. Um, see what we can do with that. Um, Paul's 3D thingamajiggy is on Instagram. He does some cool things with these little modules. I'll stick a video up there for that. We've got here expansion board module nine. And this came in nine days. A few more things of it. These little thing. Is what is this? A little circuit board. And an LDR, some transistors. No idea what this is. Uh, I think it is a little clap circuit actually. Let's soon find out on that. I can check it. I'll check in the in my AliExpress orders, but I think that's a clap circuit, little cool little circuit board project. Here wrapped up. These are not Brian Locke's power blockers. Uh, these are actually USB mail breakout boards. They're actually stuck together. You break them, that might look a bit more obvious. There's a pack of 10, there we go. That's your standards, that's your USB mail. It breaks out into uh, VCC, ground, and you've got the data pins. Pretty cool, it's a pack of 10 of those, always handy to break that out. And this is, <laughs> this is a little transformer. I don't know if I'm gonna use this now. Uh, this is a uh, 220 AC to five volt. Uh, power supply essentially. Um, this was going to go uh, in a little LED light bulb which was failing and I thought I could have a play with it and 
see if I can get it working. And this was what was inside. It was just a standard five volt power supply, which powered the LEDs. Um, don't know where the light bulb is now. I'll keep that as a thing for the parts drawer. Do not mess with AC voltage either, Stephen. Some of these have got my address still on them. Uh, LED controller and connector. And this came in eight days. Trying to the UK. Been getting some really good times recently. Uh, so what have we got here? Oh right, yeah. So these are right angle connectors for RGB LED strips. Um, that's essentially what they are. Um, I've got these to fix my TV Ambilight, uh, my Hyperion um, backlight for my TV, which goes on my um, Kodi uh, box. Now, it was working perfectly fine. It was all soldered with wires. Uh, but now my two little twins like to grab anything and everything. So they have been pulling on the LED strip behind the TV and they've been pulling on the wires and the solder joints have started to come away and the data lines are all messed up. So these are actually RGB lights. However, it's a four pin um, NeoPixel. So it's using the um, plus minus data and clock. So I needed the four pin, so ignore these labels. But these are just gonna replace the wires essentially. Nice and neat, really cheap as well. This was from the same supplier. Like a little Wi Fi module. Oop. Headers. There you go. So, this is a Wi Fi RGB controller um, with an IR remote. I was going to hook this up in my conservatory and have some um, RGB controlled strip lights going highlighting the roof panel uh, and this is Wi-Fi controlled with an infrared remote override so you can control it without having to connect to anything. Um, it is using Magic Home, you can get an app um, but what you can actually do with this is uh, inside, don't think you can get into, is an ESP8266 chip um, and you can flash that with Tasmoda and you can get MQTT support and you can run it through Home Assistant. Um, and then you can also have the IR remote as an override. So the idea is to set up some automations and get all the RGB LED strip going like that. Let's make some room here. Bit of 3M tape. You can of course use the app, which is Magic Home. Don't know what kind of firmware that is, and I will trust Tasmoda a lot more. Battery holder, calendar. And this came in 14 days. I suspect these are, yes, coin cell battery holders. Bent pin there. There you go, very simple. Uh, I know these are slightly different. These are uh, CR2450. It's not the usual 2032s. These are bigger ones. Uh, so these are things that you would power battery operated ESP8266s with. A little bit bigger. Does it say that? No. But that's what they are. Don't know what I'm going to use them for yet. Okay, this is got my address on, and it is Vernier calipers. Thirty-one days. Haha! <laughs> oh my God, this was a fun item. I was going to give one of these away, but the terrible. Um, it is a plastic Vernier Vernier caliper. Very handy. Um, electronic ones are a lot more. Uh, readable and accurate. However, it's always good to have a mechanical one. You always want to quickly measure something. This was like 40p, 50 cents. So cheap. Um, trouble is, it says it's accurate to within 0.05 millimeter, which is 
this is a, a vernier scale so when you measure something have a look when you measure something basically take the top measurement from there so that is 10 11 12 point something and then you work out whichever one is most accurate so it'll be 12 point so this is where this doesn't make sense if it was 0.05 you'd have 20 increments not 10 so that should be 0.1 accuracy which would make this usb 12.8 mil in width so i don't know where they've got that i'm guessing that's why they're so cheap because you can't work it out to 0.05 unless i'm reading it wrong and i'm doing it wrong put in your comments below if that's correct because i don't think it is however dirt cheap handy to stick in your draw at work or wherever just when you need to accurately measure something they are accurate just not to 0.05 <laughs> i've had this for a while switch this is cool this is a panel switch very heavy duty no i can't undo that not with my fingers but essentially this is one of these switches where you activate it and then when you want to switch it off you do that and it shuts it kind of a safety switch very cool very retro something for a control panel off shutting something off really awesome no idea what i'm going to use it for but it's so cool i had to get one brian lock had one of those as well could have copied his right here with that this one has my address on it it is soldering bit 18 days Let's see what it is yes they are soldering bits one two three four five a very fine point i like to solder with a very fine point I'm very okay at SMD stuff and I just like a very fine tip to solder with. These are just standard ones to fit onto the Mako style, is it? Uh, solder nine tips. The ones I've got, they start corroding away. Now I feel I am very good with my habits for soldering. I always clean the tip. That's what she said. Excuse me? That's what she said. I always put a blob of solder on at the end I always keep it clean however they always seem to corrode away so I need a few more of those very handy this one is 26 days and it is contents magnetic USB charger C and it is why is it magnetic uh, yes this is for a pebble, <laughs> the original pebble. Um, I've got one of these at home, but I want to charge my pebble at work. It's just a USB charger, it has magnetic connectors which connect the uh, charge points. I don't have my pebble with me. Just needed one at work when I go running. I only use my pebble for when I'm running because it has a good uh, running pace screen that connects to various running apps so it looks quite hard to find one of these to be honest uh, the old pebbles are not really in use anymore but mine is still going here. this one is plastic mini push buttons i wonder what they could be What this is for valued customer. This is plastic push buttons. Yeah, these are surface mount small tactile push buttons just for little projects. I like to get into SMD and making some PCBs. It's always good to have. Very cool. Toggle switch 5P. And this came in eight days. Ah, uh, yes, these are to fix a broken Bluetooth keyboard. 
the power switch is completely broken and the little googling uh, it turns out the on off switch is actually these components uh, which is a I'm not even going to try and describe if it's a two throw double pole thingy me jiggy uh, but this is what it was and this is what it is so instead of just throwing the little USB keyboard away I ordered these switches and here they are and I can just fix the switch and I've got a fully operational keyboard eight days and this is from Ugreen as you can tell by the awesome packaging cable one cable one two cables nothing else so Ugreen are a very good USB cable manufacturer Chinese but one they make really good quality cables and they always throw in little gifts like this. A lot of people are very confused when they get these, they're not sure what they are. They're basically Velcro zip ties, or you could easily call them cable management. They're really good. So what you would do, you would wrap up your cables, and then you just have them all in there, but then when you're done with it, you can just undo it like that. So that's really cool. Look for your gift. I always tend to send them out. Two cables. They are both. I'm going to say this wrong. Micro USB. Mini USB. So this one is a 50 centimeter one. Got a very good gold connector on it. And this is the same. I think it's a meter. One meter black mini USB. Uh, I was running out of these. I was, you've got a tons of them, but I can never find them. So I thought I'll get two really good quality mini USBs. And this one is not wrapped because I've had a play with it. So it's very cool. So this is a bag of bits. Uh, this did not come with it hide that you didn't see that this is a little 5.5 2.1 power adapter put in your power socket and it's plus and minus that you can use there this is a cool little LED cob adapter 12 volt this was tagged along with this and um, just to bulk up the shipping um, I don't like buying just single items all the time. I always like trying to throw things in when I spot them. Whole lot of LEDs. It's quite really bright little chip. I have a 12 volt power supply. I very handily have a 12 volt adapter. And this just plugs in that way. Check it out. Really bright. You can see it on off on off i just wanted to see if they're any good to use them as little accent lights little back lights run on 12 volts yeah. very cool maybe you see that thing where you could see through your thumb yeah really cool now that came along with this now this is a USB powered RGB LED strip. One of these ones where you have the buttons on the back, it goes through various modes and speeds. USB powered, it's five volts, but it actually controls NeoPixels. Not use standard RGB ones, but actual NeoPixels. So this is a fantastic little tester. So that when you get various strips and boards and things that you wanna just check that work, you can plug this in and check that they work. So, I have a strip, here it is. I have a power source, I have a USB charger. Ta-da! And it is, you can't really tell, mode. There we go, change the mode. 
you can get various animations and then you can speed things up that's a bit better so yeah you can see that everything's working yeah, very cool little thing I don't think this is powered enough yeah, there we go it's pretty cool so that is everything from me. I hope you enjoy this post bag. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Sound like great Scott then. Um, see you next time. Cheers.